Hey yo, Algebros. Got absolute value here. So we're gonna talk about this for just a second, but to start off with, if I take the absolute value of negative five, what do I get? Well, the definition of absolute value is the distance a number is away from zero on the number line, all right? So, this is how far, so we say it is one, two, three, four, five. But we don't say negative five, we say five. So an absolute value will always be a positive answer. So it's five, all right? Well, what happens if I have five to the other side? Well, it's still gonna be five, okay? So that brings us to this question. Now, since we know that you can either go that way with a positive five or this way with a negative five, I wanna show you how we break this up, okay? Now, to say this, an absolute value equation will always have two answers. You gotta remember that you have a positive answer and a negative answer. So this is gonna be x equals four or x equals negative four. So on a number line, you got both of them because if I took put negative four in here, it also works. Now, this is what we call the simplest absolute value equation. Now we're gonna amp it up just a little bit, okay? So, the absolute value of x equal, absolute value of x plus two equals x. So first things first, we're going to move this on the other side first, okay? So we're gonna say absolute value of x equals six. So x equals six or x equals negative six. Got it? Now, moving on. To solve an absolute value equation, you always get the absolute value by itself, no matter what you do. So now we're gonna put this inside. Now, it's by itself, so the next thing you're gonna do is say, I have two equations. Now watch carefully, this is gonna be x plus one equals six, x plus one equals negative six. Now you're gonna solve them. So you're gonna say, okay, subtract six from both sides. Whoops, excuse me. Ooh, Professor Algebra went crazy. We do that every once in a while. Now, so, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna subtract one from both sides, so x equals five. Way to go, Professor Algebra. Now, I'm going to subtract one from each side and x equals negative seven. Now, the other thing that we do is we plug them in to make sure, so five plus one is six, the absolute value is six is six, and negative seven plus one is negative six, the absolute value of negative six is six. Now, that's all the time we have for to this time. We'll go a little bit more involved with absolute value equations next time. No matter where you go, math is there later, dudes. Algebros, if you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Later.